good evening today we are discussed about cantilever what is meant by cantilever the cantilever is nothing but a beam is fixed at one end the loaded is other end consider a beam of length l and the other end is loaded by the weight of w now the end of the b b is depressed with the distance of b dash which represent the vertical depression now consider the section of the cantilever p so p and this one is q at the distance of x p is considered as a distance of x from a then the distance from p to b dash is l minus x this whole length is l a to b is x so p to b dash the length of the p to b dash is l minus x now already know that the external bending moment how to calculate the external bending moment is weight into the bending of beams that is p to b dash that is weight is w the length of p to b dash is l minus x this is equation number 1 already know that the internal bending moment the internal bending moment already derived from the bending of beams that is y i by r is equation number 2 in equilibrium conditions the external bending moment equal to internal bending moment equilibrium equation 1 and 2 w into l minus x equal to y i by r is equation number 3 now let us consider from the figure the another point is q at the distance from the x that is dx p to q is dx why we are taking the value of p and q is the beam is contains n number of layers so we are applying some external force acting on your body the bending moment is inside the material is different positions p the first one is p another one is q here the angle of p and q is d theta then you have to write what is the value of pq pq is equal to dx a dx equal to it is let us consider it is an arc arc is equal to radius into angle so dx equal to r d theta at point q then pq is equal to dx then dx equal to already told you dx that is arc is equal to radius into angle that is radius r angle d theta is equation number 4 now the two tangents are drawn at the point of p and q with the meeting point of the line of p and p dash which represent c and d this is the small depressions c and d now you can find the value of cd cd value is dy find the value of dy dy is when it is considered unknown value of r r is equal to radius into angle the radius of p and c is l minus x already we have to find l minus x then the angle is d theta to tangent in the line of p and q that is cd is equal to c d equal to 
dy c is equal to dy dy is equal to already know that that is radius into angle radius is l minus x and angle is d theta this is equation number 5 now from equation 4 and 5 you can write dx by dy equal to you know the value of dx that is r d theta divided by l minus x into d theta then dy by dx by dy equal to r by l minus x from this equation you can write the value of r r is equal to l minus x into dx divided by dy this is equation number 6 now substituting equation 6 in 3 instead of the value of r already know that equation 3 that is w into l minus x equal to y i by r substituting r value in the above equation w into l minus x y i divided by r is equal to l minus x to dx divided by d y now rearranging the above equation that is w into l minus x equal to y i then l minus x into dx then you can write w into l minus x whole square dx divided by y i is equal to dy the dy is a small depressions in the cantilever this is equation number 7 now the total depressions at the free end of the cantilever you can find by using integrating the above equations already we know that we are find a small depressions now we want the value of whole depressions inside the cantilever you can find the y value depression value by using integrating the above equation we know that y is equal to this dy dy is equal to integral 0 to l w by y i into l minus x square into dx then y is equal to w by y i into 0 to l into l minus x whole square to dx now you can simplify by equation w by y i into 0 to l which is just like that a minus b whole square formula so a square plus b square minus 2 a b into dx then y is equal to w by y i into differentiate with respect to x so differentiate the derivative differentiate the above equations and l square x plus x square or dx cube by 3 then 2 l x square by 2 0 to l 
सकते हैं वही इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाई वाई आई इन टू सब्सिट इन दिस वैल्यू एल क्यू प्लस एल क्यू बाई थ्री माइनस एल क्यू दिन एल क्यू एल क्यू कैंसिल finally y equal to w l q by 3 y i is equation number 8 the small y represent the depression of the cantilever at the free end already we know that the moment of inertia of the rectangular beam the moment of inertia of a rectangular beam that is i equal to b d q by 12 now we are taking the rectangular beam so you can substitute the value of i is equal to b d q by 12 and you know that w weight equal to m g now finally you will get the depression y is equal to m g l q by 3 y the value of i is b d q by 12 then 4 y is equal to for remainder 4 m g l q by b d q y is the depression for the cantilever what the value of young small less from this equation you can write young small less capital y equal to 4 m g l q by b d q small y this is the exponential determination of cantilever already you know that what is cantilever the beam is fixed to one end and load is applied the other end right here the given beam is fixed with rigidly in one end with the help of g clamp and the load is suspended the other end with the w now the pin is fixed at the other end of the beam a traveling microscope used to observe the pin now the suitable mass is placed at the other end first you have to add w that is without mass take the reading msr vsc and total reading then you have to add another 50 g now you observe the pin the pin is slightly above the cross wire above the cross wire you have to adjust by using the top screw the pin is on the horizontal line now you will take the reading msr vsc then you have to add another 50 g up to 250 g then you have to find the value of mean value that is tr value already tr is equal to m as a plus into vsc into lc you have to substitute this value you will get tr value that is total reading value then the mean value total reading this total reading by 2 you will get the mean value then depressions how to calculate depression means now the mean values that is w plus 100 minus w you will get one value then w plus 152 w then w plus 202 w w plus 252 w plus 
so you will get the 100 difference values 100 difference value that's why we are using the m value is 100 then you have to find the breadth of the beam and thickness of the beam by using screw gauge and vernier caliper already know that the formula x modulus of the cantilever is equal to 4 m g l q divided by y b d cube b d cube now you have to substitute these values m 100 why because we are taking the difference between w and w plus 100 that is the m value is 100 then g 9.8 then l distance between the weight hanger and clamp positions then y depression you have to find by here then d square that is thickness of the beam by using screw gauge then birth is measured by using vernier caliper you have to substitute all these values you will get x minus of a given beam thank you